Today, we're testing the scariest oh. Minecraft rituals to see if they actually work. Steve normally isn't scary, but when he's headless Steve, he's an actual nightmare. What better way to summon headless Steve than to throw player heads and mob heads into a well? This already gives me the creeps and we've barely started the summoning ritual. Okay, so the heads are now down at the bottom. There's a trail of redstone or blood behind us. Oh, and the heads are gone. A part of the ritual says that you also need a few candles. What was that? Hello? Okay. Oh! The headless Steve head! No freaking way! We're gonna put this inside of the well where we put all the other mob heads and... Why is it not going in the well? Go in the well! No! Whoa, okay, now it's red! Oh, the water's red in the village! What is happening? Oh, okay, I think we went a little too far with this one. No. No. Why did this work? This shouldn't have worked! I thought it was a troll! No! Oh, no, no, no! Not the water, not the water, please! No! No! What? 6 out of 10, Headless Steve is terrifying. Among all of Minecraft's scariest entities, one still reigns supreme, Hero Brian. Now, rumors say that players have found a way to summon him, and it starts by finding a creepy forest where step one is to build his house. Yes. Is that coming from the house? No, it's not. Tell me we got the boost or something like that. This is... What? <laughs> no. You gotta be kidding me. Why are we in a mesa biome? No. Why is there a maze now in the house? It's a dead end. Wait, it's a complete dead end. Excuse me? Oh my God, is that her, Brian? I don't know what to do. Maybe he just won't notice me. Oh, <gasps> but there are diamonds. Hold on. I, I can't turn down diamonds, guys. I need to get those diamonds. No, this isn't what it looks like. This is not it. No. What? Here, Brian fell out of the world. I, I feel bad, but I think I'm gonna have to give him like a freaking two out of 10. Here, Brian, you let me down. This monster is the sole reason you can't survive in the darkness below bedrock. Okay, I'm gonna head down just one block below bedrock where you take damage. I'm gonna place the jukebox down and I'm gonna place the redstone all around it as well. Gotta turn my render distance down to two. We should be good. Or I gotta put the disc in and then, okay. Okay, nothing weird. What? What the? Why did it kick the disc out? Kind of freaked out, not gonna lie. We're gonna try again and maybe it'll stop being weird. This is just so freaky for no reason. What the? Okay, uh, 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 uh. For some reason, I hear raining, like, below the bedrock. And once again, I don't think that's normal. I was right. There's literally rain below the bedrock. I don't know. This is kind of scary. I want to try to play the disc again. Please, C418. Okay, now the ground is, like, shaking. It's totally okay. Uh, what the, what the fudge is that? This is so... <gasps> Okay, not gonna lie, that was really scary. I'm rating that a solid 8.5 out of 10. Minecraft's ravagers are completely savage, but what if I were to tell you there's a way of making them crazier? Apparently, if I do a bunch of rituals with a goat horn, I can make this thing from a ravager into a ravager. Now, I have a pillager outpost that I'm gonna make into a nice ritual room. If I lure the ravager inside of here with a ritual, I can make him crazier. All right, let's test this myth. I have to lure the Ravager to my ritual spot and see if anything happens. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, he's behind me. Okay, got to get him in the building. Welcome to my ritual. Oh, I almost killed myself. It's fine. It's fine. And block. Oh, oh. okay, good. Final stage of this myth. All right, goat horn commence. Okay, that is the scariest goat horn call. Okay, guys, I, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. What? Here. I just listen. I don't. I don't do this kind of stuff in Minecraft. No! Oh, what is that? It looked like it had green slime on it. Okay, guys. I don't know what that is, but I'm not getting closer to that thing. That thing is terrifying. If you want to see what it was, uh, you can pause it whenever it happened. I'm not going back. I'm not going back to that. I'm gonna give this myth six sea pickles out of eleven sea pickles. The Farlands is a mysterious place, and it is said to be home of Minecraft's most terrifying monster, that thing. Step one, make a circle and put animals inside of it. Perfect. Now, step two is to create a ring of fire around the animals, which is supposed to arouse that thing to appear. While we're lighting these, I did want to tell you guys about the new merch from firemerch.com. It's the chalk collection. We got a t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, hoodie, joggers, and different colors. Please go check it out, firemerch.com. Thank you so much, because I'm terrified right now. And I'm also wearing it. Okay, and here we go. I'm not seeing anything. It sounded like somebody blew out the flames like they were blowing out their birthday candles. I just need to try one more time. 
And before we do this, we're gonna turn our volume all the way down. We should be able to hear that sound again, if it's that thing. So, I did, okay. Something is blowing our fire out. I'm gonna do it one more time. For the culture, it took five seconds last time for the flames to blow out. Weird. Okay, so the flames are staying intact. Nothing's blowing it out anymore. Oh my God. I just got a leg cramp from how bad I got <laughs> jump scared. I'm probably gonna put that thing at zero out of 10, cause that just, that thing wasn't very scary. <laughs> this rumor states that you can cover a whole cave full of blood and then a new mob of Minecraft enters called the Blooderman. I mean, the, the Blood Enderman which I'm gonna call Blooderman, but. All right, so all you have to do is cover the caves full of blood. I uh, made a little pin full of animals, so then I'm gonna sacrifice these animals and uh, get this ritual on the road. Die, 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 die. Okay, so I killed all the mobs and nothing really happened. What? where did all my torches go? Mr. Pig, you take my torches. Are you ruining this ritual? Okay, that's fine. Um, could have just been a glitch. I'll just place them down again. <gasps> Did I, wait, wait a second. I have to sacrifice Endermen to get their blood to make a Blooderman. All right, time to spawn in the Endermen to sacrifice. So sorry, Mr. Enderman. <laughs> wait, what was that? What? Guys, did you see that? I don't know if that was Kool-Aid. Really hope it was not blood. I'm just gonna sacrifice more Endermen. Oh, there it is. There's the blood. Yes! Okay, it's going, yes, it's going down my blood ravine! Perfect! The blood is, is gone down here. I thought there was gonna be some sort of reaction with water and blood. Huh. Whoa! Okay, that, I didn't spawn that blood. Whoa, whoa, what was that? No, that's a blood enderman! It's true! All right, I'm gonna write this three sea pickles out of however that many was, so. We all know pillagers are evil, right? But this rumor states that there's a new sinister entity that makes them like nothing. The plague villager. Okay, and the best way to lure a villager into anywhere, honestly, is by using any kind of boat. So let's see if this works. <gasps> Perfect, he got in first try. Get in here, villager. Bro, this is like some freaking Mission Impossible stuff, bro. It's taking long enough. Okay, our test subject has finally been lured into the trap. Now it's time to get the testing underway. This is um all for fun and games. Whoa, it killed the villager. Okay, well that was a little weird, but nothing too out of the ordinary, right? Okay, I'm gonna flick it again and see what happens. It, it, it struck him again. Wait, the cows. Okay, let's try for a third time and see what happens. <gasps> Wait, okay, this is like not cursed at all. Okay, I'm gonna flick it again. Gotta see if anything weird happens this time. What, what are you doing by my lever? Get away from that. No. Okay, that one got me, I'm not gonna lie. That one gets a solid nine out of 10. Minecraft has its fair share of hackers, but none of them come close to the entity named Account671. The stories about this player will send shivers down your spine. He is rumored to steal accounts and impersonate your friends. Players who have experienced this were never seen again. You can start in an open field just like this. Now we have to build a statue, redstone statue. <sighs> right, everything's looking good here. Where's that sound? Is it coming from? <laughs> what? Why is the statue completed? It's perfect. I turn around for one second and then the statue is fully erected. <laughs> no, don't even try to act like you did this. Uh, no shot. Y you got a microphone. Hey, hi. <laughs> My mic isn't working. Okay, classic chase. Why are you looking up at the sky? <laughs> what are you looking at? Minecraft wheat seeds. Are you telling me to put wheat seeds in the hopper? Let me put one there. Another one down here. What is this? What is an oppy? A poppy? I have collected the pops. Oh, look at these lights. Why are the lamps turning on? Ritual. Is this why you keep staring up with a broken neck? Okay, I do have a redstone. Thank God I don't have to collect that. All right, the redstone's going in. Can you stop with the winky face? Now you're making me and everybody in the comments uncomfortable. Guys, does this make you uncomfortable? Like the video if this makes you uncomfortable. It makes me uncomfortable. What? The ground just turned in. Is this mycelium? Oh, <gasps> what is this? What? Don't jump into the mysterious hole. <laughs> Oh, hey, Preston. Just gonna log in the server real quick. Oh, finally, you've got a mic. Wait, what do you mean? Just now getting on. So if you're just logging on now, that means the footsteps I just heard behind me aren't yours. What? How dare you? Eight out of 10 for account 671. Next ritual. Now we've all seen vexes in Minecraft, right? But did you know that there is one that was more tortured, more cursed, more pathetic and sad than the rest? 
called the Weeping Vex. Apparently, you have to emotionally and physically damage a Vex. I'm gonna find some allays in this uh, woodland mansion, and then I'm gonna turn those allays into Vexes, and then those Vexes into hopefully a Weeping Vex. Boom. All right, welcome to your new home, and welcome to the science experiment. Now, I have to make, of course, a ritual site around them, and then spawn some lightning. It should show us what the, the Weeping Vex looks like. I'm gonna get some lightning, and I'm gonna see what a Weeping Vex looks like, if it's true. Let's go. Ah. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that's a nope for me. I think I have to be a little more diabolical. I'm gonna have to kill Alays with creepy items in Minecraft. I guess that should get us the weeping, the weeping Vex. <laughs> now all the Alays are holding the most cursed and evil items in Minecraft. Let's see if we get this ritual going. I'm gonna spawn in the lightning. Oh, there we go. Hey right, guys, that didn't work. Guys, what if I give them a totem of undying and then they can't die while dying, causing them to have eternal suffering? Okay, lightning strike, go! Wait, he's not dying. Yo! Wait, whoa! Whoa! This is the weeping vex! Wait, why is it chasing me? Oh, stop it! Wait, I'm in creative mode. Wait, I'm in creative mode. You can't kill me, dude. Okay, I don't like this! I was in creative mode! I'm gonna give it eight skulls out of... 13 skulls. Entity 303 has never appeared to those who are seeking it. As the ritual states, it will steal and consume your child. And up until this point, nobody ever dared to sacrifice their child. Which is why I'm in a village and I'm, I'm looking for baby villagers. Hello there, Junior. What do you think about this? Oh yeah, I know you villagers from a young age love these. Yeah, come on this way, huh? I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the world's biggest creep right now, but remember, this is Minecraft. Please join me in this very unsuspicious looking playpen. No, 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 no. Come. Yes. Now that we have the baby villager trapped, this bell is supposed to let Entity 303 know that there was a sacrifice waiting in the pen. I heard some doors open. Was that just the villagers or was that... <gasps> He's gone! He's... It's covered in redstone! All right, I'm getting spooked, huh? The creepy pasta is catching up to me. What if we ring it a second time? Come on, come on. <gasps> He's back? I'm just gonna ring the bell again. Oh, you, that, the, the baby turned into the entity. So this wasn't a bust. I'm going to put this one at a nine out of 10. Actually didn't see that one coming and it actually got me jump scared. An advanced AI trapped itself in a banned snapshot from the dark web. Reports of this unkillable entity includes messing with your computer like a virus, causing problems in and outside of Minecraft. Okay, okay, I'm, okay, I'm looking through a desert. Okay, I'm going to look for anything like weird or out of the ordinary. Whoa. Wait, 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 am I eyes playing, are my eyes playing tricks on me? No, they're not. Oh my god, okay. Uh, the sand is changing. A little freaky, but also, I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be honest. There's a secret I've been keeping. There's a little bit of a rumor where if you build a shrine, you can actually attract Air 422 and he'll start messing with you. Like, messing with your screw. I don't know, doing a bunch of weird stuff. So we're gonna, I think this is like the perfect place. So let's, let's try it. Okay, the perfect shrine, in my opinion, is just, it just, it doesn't have to be a lot. Okay, just a simple pyramid. And voila, we're done. I don't know what that means, but voila, we're done. Nothing, nothing's weird, nothing weird's happening. What the heck? I know you guys heard that. Should we maybe go one up? Whoa, my screen is messing up again. I know I'm not tripping. I know y'all seen that, bro. I literally just, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 it's fine. What the fudge? What the fudge? What is that? It's him. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm not wasting any more time. Nope, 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 that was error. That was error. I'm, I'm barricading myself in here. Oh, my screen is glitching out again. <laughs> If I turn around and someone's behind me, no, 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 <laughs> okay, this one might honestly be like the scariest one yet. I, I'm going with a 10. It's, it's, it's a 10 out of 10. That was freaking terrifying. No, you're wrong. What are you saying? Mine was easily the scariest. That's not scary. There, there, no shot. I'm telling you right now, I had the scariest mob. It literally can't get any scarier than that. But, no, it's it. Guys, guys, no, do you see? Wait a second. Look at these frames. He was following me all along. Thinking about, oh, 